Stuff? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of camouflaged, and that's what got this guy in trouble. All right, I remember him. He's defending themselves against these, these, these uh, giant uh, bugs. Uh, Bugus gigundus, I think. <laughs> <laughs> these guys. <laughs> so he knows that if he's got one shot at it. If he doesn't, he's dead meat, you know? <laughs> and there's a little baby one. Maybe they're very protective of the baby one. <laughs> And if they're plural, it's probably bug eyed the is a, uh, what was the only known version of a clapper hollow porcupine. <laughs> porcupine. <laughs> only known one. Oh, I remember that. Where was that? This was over at the Rigby's. Very yeah. Lonnie Rigby. Right. I think a tree fell on it. Because it, uh, it, it suffered some bad bruises. Oh, yeah. Okay. Contemporary because all the ear piercings and you know body piercings. And <laughs> I'll show you one in progress. <laughs> so you know, I've never seen anything but three in single valves. It's, it's probably a drum and bugle corps uh, thing, marching band drum and bugle corps, but a two valve. Now unless the, you know, especially army related, maybe the guy lost a finger and they made it specially for him. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I took apart all these these clarinets. So these guys are waiting. They're waiting, just waiting. You know, faces. <laughs> And then I use the other and the workshop, and he's so delighted with himself and laughing. <laughs> oh, it's cardboard and more beat-up musical instruments. Okay. Six or seven cellos. <laughs> it's even harder to get through.